In this video, we're looking at modal verbs. There are nine main modal verbs and different modal verbs express different things. For example, the modal verbs can and could are often used to express ability. In the UK, you can drive a car when you are 17 years old. The negative can also be used to express the lack of ability. You cannot drive safely if you have been drinking alcohol. If you want to express ability in the past, you can use could. For example, the Tyrannosaurus Rex could live up to 30 years old. To express possibility, we can use the modal verbs might, may or could. For example, it might be windy at the top of the mountain. There may be a rope to hold on to. It could be dangerous. All these sentences express situations that could be possible. Must can be used to express an obligation to do something. For example, you must stop at the red light. We can also use the negative to express prohibition, which means an obligation not to do something. To make the negative, we add not after the modal verb. You must not cross the road when the traffic light is on green. If you want to make a prediction about something that is going to happen in the future, you can use will. For example, it will probably rain tomorrow. Will can also be used to make an offer or show a willingness to do something. I will give you a ride home. If you want to give advice to someone, you can use the modal verb should. You should take an umbrella in case it rains. If you forget an umbrella, you should dance in the rain. If you want to give permission or ask for permission, you can use can, could and may. For example, you could ask permission to dance with someone by saying can I have this dance? We use would for asking polite questions or expressing desires. For example, would you like to go for dinner? So, now we know what each modal verb means, let's look at a few important grammatical rules so that we know how to use them correctly. The first rule we need to know is that we don't conjugate modal verbs. They are the same whether the subject is I, you, he, she, we or they. So we can say I can dance and she can dance but we can't say she cans dance. The second rule we need to know is that after modal verbs, we use the infinitive of the verb without to. So, we can say, I can run fast, but we can't say, I can to run fast. The third important rule to remember is that when we make the negative, we use not after the verb. So, we can say, you should not stay up late looking at your phone, but we can't say, you don't should stay up late looking at your phone. So, in order to remember what you've learnt, you should practice. Here are some sentences that have mistakes. Pause the video and try to correct them. The correct answers will be on screen when the timer goes to zero.
Okay, so you've practiced correcting some sentences. Now let's try constructing some sentences. Here are some questions. Leave your answers in the comments and I'll respond to let you know if they're correct.